Good morning, and today I have three books that I want to read, not just one, and that is because they all have the same theme, and that is, you know, a long time ago, things were not the same as they are today. If you wanted food, you had to either be growing it, finding it, or killing it yourself a long time ago. Now, you just go to the store and buy it, right? So things have changed. <clears throat> this book is about a long, long, long time ago. And it's called Did You Know? Look at the people you see how they're dressed differently than we are. Did you know that long, long ago, people made clothes from animal skins? It's true. Yeah, look at that. It looks like a, like a bear skin. Hmm. Did you know that long, long ago, people made tools? From animal horns. That's true, too. Did you know that long, long ago, people made arrows from sharp stones? It's true. Did you know that long, long ago, people made necklaces from animal teeth and bones? And shells. Oops, I read that wrong. Well, did you know that long, long ago, people made boots from trees? Boots? Is that a boot? Oh, boy. Did you, ah, boats. They made boats from from trees, not boots. They may have made boots. I don't know. The Danish people, you know, the little wooden shoes. Did you know that long, long ago, people made needles from the bones of small animals? It's true. And I don't know if you know what needles are, but they're pokey things that people use for sewing things. Must be how they made their clothing from the animal skins. Did you know that long, long ago, people made houses from animal skins? Boy, they sure made a lot of stuff from animals, didn't they? Did you know that some people still do these things today? It's true. And I know it's true because my own brother, I, see, I, you probably didn't know this, but I'm from Alaska. And my own brother, David, he used to make things all the time out of animals, especially the furs. I ate them too. Long ago and today. Now, this one isn't about as long ago. This is about like maybe what your grandma or grandpa was doing or maybe their grandpa or dad. I don't know, your great grandma. Long ago, farmers plowed the field. Oh, look, they use a plow. Today, farmers plow the field. It's a different kind of plow, isn't it? Long ago, people traveled. How are they moving? Today, people travel. Hop in the van, kids. Long ago, people hunted for food. Oh, there's Dad. Got his gun slung over his shoulder. Today, people hunt for food. Mommy, I want the tricks. Right? It's the one in the back. Long ago, people lived in houses. Log, log cabins. Today, people live in houses. A long ago, families cooked meals. Wow, look at that big chain over the fireplace. Today, people cook meals in the uh, in the microwave. <clears throat> long ago, children went to school. Today, children go to school. Looks a little bit different, <laughs> although now it's going to start <laughs> looking a lot more like that one. Long ago, children played. Today, children play, and that part didn't change. Long ago, and today. And here is, again, a, kind of about the time that your grandparents were alive, called 100 years ago. Um, and unfortunately, this book is like, uh, let's see, it was written 20 years ago, so it's actually 120 years ago. 100 years ago. There, I'm going to call it 120 years ago. 120, there were no cars 120 years ago. How did people get around town? They rode horses. There were no microwaves 120 years ago. How did people make popcorn? They made popcorn in a pot on a stove. 
there were no refrigerators 100 years, 120 years ago. How did people keep food cold? They had ice boxes. Believe it or not, they're just big wooden boxes and they put ice in them and that kept stuff cold. Some people buried their stuff deep in the ground in cellars to keep stuff cold. There were no TVs 120 years ago. What did people do for fun? They played games. Oh, this game is called Kick the Can. Now, I'm not 120 years old, but I have played Kick the Can. There were no big jets 120 years ago. How did people travel far away? They took the train. They also took ships. There were no night lights 100 years ago. How did people see in the dark? They used a candle. Well, and some people also use a, a lantern. It has kind of a, a gas inside called kerosene, and they use that for light too. There were pets 120 years ago. People had dogs and cats, and just like you might. Um, actually, dogs and cats have been with people for thousands of years, not just 120. I hope you enjoyed these books about a long time ago. And uh, think about how things were different way back then.